Okay? So we're really asking you, what is this value of z? Why, why do I put a minus z over here? Because the symmetry, this is 0. This is the standard distribution, standard normal. Um, to the right is z. To the left is negative z. So when, when they're saying determine the z values, this is code for working how. Remember we said that last week. Code for working how? Forward or backwards? Is it working forward or working backwards? Backwards. backwards. Good. Backwards. That's important because in one section you're working forwards. And then at the end they say now work backwards, See, meaning that we're going to give you the percent that's shaded or not shaded. What is the value of z? Prior to that, they said here is the value of z, what percent is shaded, not shaded, whatever. So there's two approaches. One is forward, one is backward. You have to know when you know, um, to do each. And what's the secret? If they're going to ask you for a z value, then you're going to have to work backwards. If they're asking you for a percent of the bell that's shaded, it's working forwards. Okay? So take a look here. How are you going to do the first problem? Right? I'm going to I'll erase this. These are our, our notes. Well, maybe I'll, no, maybe I'll keep it for now. The first problem, if we're trying to find a z value, working backwards, tell me, how do you do this? There's no z value information. There's no z value information. So you're not looking here. So therefore, where, where are you looking? You're looking right here. Is that right? You don't have a z value. You can't get a row and a column. So you're looking there. But who recalls the table, the table I gave you? Oh, you need, we'll get you one. The table I gave you, who recalls? That table is good for what? What is that table good for? Anybody do any homework, or are you going to wait until the night before the test? Then you're going to start the homework. What was that table that I gave you? Since you guys did all this homework in the last two weeks, the last two weeks you had some homework assigned. So I'm sure you did it. So therefore, what table did you guys use in the last two weeks? The table I gave you, what was it good for? Yes, between 0 and Z. The one that your book comes with is what? It's different. It's, it's a different table. So I want to emphasize that because I've been saying that, and then, you know, people will look at the book and say that was different. We talked about that. Yeah, it's, it's a different, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's very similar, but it's a different table. I gave you one table. They're giving you two. So how do you use this? Well, hmm, do you know why we were bugging Claudia about half of this thing, the 45%? Do you know why we were bugging? You know, you know, if we're saying how much is shaded, how much is not shaded, what's half of it, half of being shaded? See this 45%? You want to know why I was bugging you about it, Claudia? Asking you for 45%? Because you're going to use this looking for 45% finding the z value that's closest to 45%. Okay? So the process is everything that I was asking you to, to determine the z value. What percent is in the tails? What percent is not? What's half of the not? That's the value you look for when you determine that z value. Now, what do you guys see in your table as that z value? Well, you guys see an asterisk? You know why they have the asterisk there? Because they knew you were going to look for this. What does it say? The z value is what? What is it? The z value is 1.64 what? 5. So for that first picture, OK? Z value is a 1.645. What's the other one? Minus 1. what? 
you've, you've completed the task. You've done what they've wanted. But like I said, everything that I've asked you was all the information that you need to answer this question and actually to get other, uh, to talk about the lecture as well. Okay, so take a look at this. What's the next one? What z value are you going to look for now? What is it? You're going to look for what? The 47.5%. You're going to get as close as you can without going over to what? How do you write 47.5 as a decimal? 0 0.4750. So what's the z value now? What is it? Is it 1.96? Yeah, they even put it in a box for you guys. Wow. 1.96 and what? Minus what? So they even put that in a box for you. And they did that because they knew you were going to look for it. OK, everybody OK with that one? Because copying the notes down isn't going to mean anything if you don't know what we're doing. Because sometimes people copy the notes, they go, I'll just look at it later. Later never comes. OK? So what are you going to look for now? You're going to go to the next one, number three. What are you going to look for now? Good. Zero point what? 495. Get as close as you can to 0.495. Your table will look a little different. You're going to have to add 50. So it's 0.495 is 0.995. Now I could give you one. You see, even you, you're looking at that. Even you. I think when Some I was doing the alternatives, the square one, it adds 50. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because that is adding 50 to the difficulty. That's all they did. What do you guys see there as a z value? What's the z what's the z value? 2.575 good. Now, what would you guys do with these? These last two, 49% and 47%. Get as, get as close as you can to 49%, 47% as possible. What do you get? Well, it depends on, I mean, the, uh, the book may say without going over, but I just, I would rather, this is an approximation anyway, you might as well get as close as you can. So just get as close as you can. Yeah. Yeah, 4901, right? What do you get? 2.3? No. 2.33. Oh. And what's the other one? How do you know? It's to the left. OK, what about 47? And because of symmetry, right? What about the next one, 47%? 1.89, anybody second that? No, and minus 1.89 because of symmetry? Is that what you guys get? Oh, no. I think I think it's one point eight eight. How do I know? One point eight eight. Forty six dollars and ninety nine cents. Isn't this the isn't this the best you can get? Forty six dollars and ninety nine cents. Isn't that closest to 
$47? That's short by how much? By a penny. So it's 1.88. See that, um, Claudia? If all else fails, think of money. That always improves your accuracy. So you can think $47, huh? $46.99. Not the $47.06. That's six cents away. This is only one cent. All right, you guys okay with this? This is, uh, this is what I wanted you guys to warm up with. This is the process. Now let me give you some definitions, because some of these definitions that I give you, um, we're going to use for this for the remaining uh, semester. Okay? I'm going to define for you, for this picture, we have a standard normal distribution. Okay? Let me give you some definitions. Definition of what's known as level of significance. Okay, the level of significance. That is denoted by the symbol alpha. You want to get a tattoo? Get alpha. It means level of significance. Alpha is the sum of the what? Tails. That's your level of significance. OK? Definition of the confidence level. That is the complement of alpha. Okay? This is the complement of alpha. So I'm giving you all the language now for the remainder of the, you know, course. And finally, the definition of what I'll call critical value. That is the, the Z value associated with the particular level of significance. R confidence level. Because if you have a confidence level, you have a level of significance. If you have a level of significance, you have a confidence level. And the symbol, our tattoo, is Z alpha over 2. Okay, Z alpha over 2. And this is alpha. So notice what I just did this morning in, in our warm-up. What I did was I, without giving you the formal language, was asking you for these five examples, hey, what is alpha? What's the level of significance? What is the confidence level? And what is the what? The critical value. So we actually went through an exercise in determining all those things. And now you have their name. Okay. So for example, let's go back here. Can you guys tell me, what is the level of significance for the first question? What is it? 10%. And Claudia, how do you write 10% again? 0.10, right? 